Hello everyone, today we will see how to design dipole and monopole antenna using 4NEC2 software. First of all, we have to see the theory for this design. Let's suppose we want to design dipole antenna and monopole antenna at frequency 300 megahertz. Then we have to calculate the length parameter of this antenna. Since we have taken frequency is 300 megahertz, we will calculate wavelength which is coming across uh, approximately 1 meter. So this is uh, our antenna, dipole antenna which is having two poles. Since we are orienting this antenna along the z axis, the coordinates of these two poles are 0, 0 and minus 0.5. And the upper pole is having coordinates 0, 0, 0.5. So 0 and 0, these are for your x coordinate, y coordinate, and 0.5 is for your z coordinate. So from minus 0.5 to 0.5, total length is almost 1 meter. Similarly, for this monopole antenna, for monopole there is a single pole only, and the another pole is grounded. So we will consider only the length 0, 0. 0.5 for this monopole antenna. Now, how to perform using 4NEC2? So, first of all, you have to download this 4NEC2 software. It is freeware. After uh, downloading, let's suppose we have opened this. So, this is the main window you will be getting over here. Here, in this main window, in the settings, click on this NEC editor new. Then click on this edit NEC input file icon. You will get another window. Now here already for uh, some antenna wire antenna some dimensions are already written over there. We want to create a new file for this dipole antenna. So let's create a new. So you are getting a clean window over here where you can specify the geometry of your antenna. So our antenna is wire type, so select wire, then there is a single dipole antenna with a single tag is required over there, tag number 1. We will divide that tag into 9 segments, which is an odd number. This segment gives us an idea about the center segment where we have to connect the voltage source. We have seen bottom coordinate is 0, 0, minus 0.5. And upper coordinate we have taken 0, 0, 0.5. And the radius of wire which we are using suppose 0, 0.0001 mm. Okay. So, sorry, 0 0.0001 meter. Now, we have to connect the source to this wire. So, voltage SRC we will use for connection. Source like voltage SRC. We are Connecting to this wire number 1, so whose tag number is 1, we will connect it at the middle of the wire. So, segment number 5 is the middle segment. Then give the values, optimum values, then real value is suppose 1, imaginary 0, then uh, magnitude 1, phase 0. After giving this source load description, then we have to click on frequency. We want to design this antenna for 300 megahertz and we are keeping this antenna in free space. After giving all these details, you save all these details, then uh, run the program, whatever simulation you have saved, run. We want to see the far field pattern, so select far field pattern with 5 degrees and generate pattern, click on generate pattern. So you, here you will get the pattern of the antenna which consists of actually vertical plane as well as horizontal plane information. So let's see. So here click on this far field. Here both these uh, options are selected. We want to see one by one. So first of all I will deselect this show both horizontal and vertical. So I will get only a vertical plane. So in vertical plane, what can be a radiation pattern? It is a two-dimensional, that information I am getting over here. Similarly, if I want to select or see horizontal plane, then what can be the horizontal plane view of radiation pattern? 
that is there if i want to see both then click on this show both horizontal as well as vertical so i am getting both that is your vertical plane as well as horizontal plane so red color shows me horizontal plane and blue color pattern shows me pattern in vertical plane if you want to see the 3d structure as well as pattern then in main window 3d is 3d icon is there you click on this 3d icon here you will get this 3d structure here structure is there height pattern total gain everything is there so just click on this structure then click on structure we divided this antenna in segments nine segments so we will get this total nine segments our antenna is oriented in z direction we can see current distribution also so these are what current distributions then uh, we want to see the pattern uh, 3d pattern for this radi uh, radiation pattern of this dipole antenna so click on pattern you will get the pattern also so actually this is what the radiation pattern of your dipole antenna you can see multicolor pattern also then uh, this gives us what can be the radiation intensity in dbi then uh, transparent also you can see so where you can see actually what is vertical as well as horizontal plane so in this way you can study this radiation pattern of an antenna in 3d similarly you can perform for your monopole antenna one more thing i want to just tell you that is whatever this analysis we have done for this antenna that is uh, we have seen far field pattern of this antenna we can see the frequency sweep also so here in frequency sweep we can get the idea about here in frequency sweep we can get the standing wave ratio uh, versus frequency similarly uh, frequency versus reflection coefficient graph this study also we can do the for this particular antenna and in main window what can be the voltage parameter impedance parameter what is your standing wave ratio all details all parameter summary you are getting for this particular antenna so in this way you can similarly do for monopole antenna also and you can perform the analysis of this antenna by using 4nc thank you